Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at a problem you might get when you're trying to play some 4K video and even almost anywhere. Just a random codec error message says this item was encoded in a format that's not supported. The error code is probably 0xc00d5212. 0, 0, 5, so what you're missing is the Microsoft Media Foundation codex, which we just put up. Follow the link here. Look for the little I. Check the video description. Follow the link. Click download now. And once you have the file, we're going to extract all four of them. So we'll extract, extract all. And once we have them in the folder open, we can actually run these one at a time. Which one do you need? Hard to say. Let's start with MPEG-2. You probably don't have that. And as you can see, install. Problem solved. Now try and see if your movie will play. Let's see what else we got. HGVC. These these two up here, see the AV1, VP9, they're probably installed. But let's so let's go to HEVC. It wants to install it. So again, if your video isn't playing, try that one. You could do this also in, almost in any order. I'll tell you why. Watch this. We install that one. So there's three out of four. I wouldn't install them all. Again, just why bother? And the last one, as you can see, is already installed, so we didn't have to do that. So there's a good chance when I played earlier, two of the four were already installed. So there's a pretty good chance it's going to be AV1, HEV, MPEG2, and if you know what type of video you're playing, you can kind of guess if you're playing an MPEG, if you're playing an AVI, you can kind of guess which one to run. And that should solve your problem. Now, I did want to mention, I have seen some tutorials and videos that say download VLC Media Player. I've got no problem with that. I actually like it. I usually have it on my computer. But it doesn't fix the problem any more than reinstalling Windows solves the problem. It does. Kind of the hard way to go about it. But VLC is very good. You can find a link right here. You see that? And once again, download now or at Major Geeks 32-bit or 64-bit, whatever you need. And you can find a portable version here if you don't like installers, and you shouldn't. Uh, check our channel for a video on why you should always use portable software. Love it. Love it. There you go. So that should fix that error code. It's simply that you're missing the correct codex for whatever reason. And actually, they got one codec now. I think the Movies and TV app, if you go there to try and run it, then you get forwarded to the Microsoft Store where they want you to buy the codec, which makes absolutely no sense to me at which point. Now VLC makes sense if you don't have the codecs that you now have. There you have it, geeks. Nice, simple, short video for today. Thanks for watching, as always. See you.